What's up, people? I was out today, and I ended up going to Hard Off again. Shocking! Right, I want to keep this short, so let's get right into it! I wonder how many people have started their pickup videos saying that. And then I wonder how many of those people actually don't get right into it after they say it. I've definitely been guilty of both of those things. Ha! Huh. This is the Bag number one. And uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these, but yeah, here's a Super Famicom. I don't think it's been tested, but look at how clean it is. Oh, yeah. Ooh, console porn. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's pretty dang close. Doesn't smell bad either, which is nice. <laughs> I'm tired of smelly things when it comes to video games. What else? Oh, I don't. I don't, well, I bought this because it was a dollar. That's why. But this is a zapper gun for the PlayStation One that I don't have, and I know it's not something that I need. But looks like it's even got an extending burger cable thing. But I just thought it was cute because it's kind of small and stuff. So yeah, spent a dollar on that. That's the. I don't know what it is. It's made by Namco. It's the G slash C system number two or system product number two. B button. B B B. Yay. Next. Bag O games. Uh, I will. These are not that exciting, but I'll just set them aside because they're part of something else. Hmm. Not too exciting, but we've got Dragon Ball. Where is it? There. The manual. That's a dollar. Woohoo! Tag Team Pro Wrestling. A few people have been asking me to send them Famicom games, and oh man, I have so much stuff to send out, it's not even funny. Kind of a bit busy lately with, you know, getting married and other stuff and moving. Not moving, but moving, and uh, it's complicated, but I am trying to get caught up on that, so don't, ever, don't anybody ask me for a trade for a while, okay? I'll ask you. Uh, and if you want to send me stuff and hope that I send it back, I probably will, but it might take a long, long time. <laughs> right, I bought this game because I didn't have it and because it's in Osa it's based in Osaka. This is Osaka Wangan Batoru, which is a it's a car racing game. Uh and the Wangan series I kinda like, Wangan Midnight and stuff like that. So anyway, because it's based in Osaka and it was a dollar and the disc was okay, not perfect. I grabbed it. And now I'm going to grab something else. This is not a jump cut. Or is it? I'm not really sure. But anyway, I didn't want to just leave the camera running while I walked to the kitchen to get a beer. Cheers. I was doing it. The thing with the finger again. Uh, oh, I, there's just so many questions. If you want to know, this is a ring that I had already. And I've just got it on there. We haven't done the ceremony yet. So I reckon when the ceremony comes, we'll get proper rings for each other. But I just wanted to have something on my finger. Because, you know, it's hard beating the ladies off, you know. It's much easier. I'm just like, yo, yo, back off. I don't know. And uh, I got this new watch for myself, too. Which might not look like much. But I recently have become a big fan of Seiko. Note how it sweeps instead of tick, tick. It's like, brrrr. Because it's automatic. Yes. I'm only buying self-winding watches from now on. Because... Replacing the batteries on all the watches that I have every year is going to... It's stupid, right? I bought another one. I, I thought it was self-winding, and it wasn't. Uh, but it's purdy. Anyway, so there's there's my watch. I'll show it to you one more time. It's the Monster. And reading on, like, watch forums, those exist, right? Some, like, watch uh, collectors, which I'm not really planning to become. But they were saying for the for the dollar and for, like, sort of the name and everything, this is probably the, just about the best watch you can buy. So, I got one. And I like it because I don't have anything that looks like that. And you don't care. This isn't a watch channel. Yes, it is. It is now. Oh, so nice. So blurry. Okay, still blurry. Anyway, next bag. Let's see. Is this a good order to go in? Sure, why not? As I walked into Hard Off today, I saw something that I pretty much never see there. Oh, my head. They had, and this isn't what I was going to say, but they had ten, about ten, or a dozen even, Wiis. 
and they're all without the sensor bars because presumably people bought a Wii U, kept the sensor bar to use with the Wii U, and just got rid of their Wiis, yeah? 20 bucks a piece. I fully plan to go back and buy one or two or three and mod them all and just put them in a drawer and have them for the future. For progeny, perhaps literally. Right, so there you go. And if you're going to ask me for a Japanese Wii, feel free to ask me, but the thing is it literally might take a year, so just bear that in mind. Okay, so this is a boxed um, Nintendo 64 controller, and it's black, and I honestly don't know what kind of condition it's in. Thing is, if it's in bad condition, I'll put one of the my black ones that's in really good shape in there. So, should we open it? I mean, it's possible that it's new. There's 10 bucks. You often see these for around $15 just loose. I don't know why there's a market for them for some reason. It's surprising, really, because a lot of people hate on the N64, and I don't... I just don't... Uh, because I don't want to waste time on this video, opening boxes, hold on. Not a jump cut! Or is it? I don't really know how these things, you know, what people mean, or what Grub Gun means when he says, I hate jump cuts! So, I'm all conscious of it now. So here's how it looks inside. I'm guessing it's probably not new, but... What do I know? I mean, it's not wrapped in baggy, so yeah, it's not new. It does have the little manual and stuff, and the stick is... It's just so-so. So I won't bother opening the other one, I don't think. Because I'm I'm kind of guessing they're from the same person who, for whatever reason, probably just because he had sheep, perhaps, had space, kept these boxes all these years. It's hard to believe. Even as a collector, right? And I'm pretty... You'll see, or you may have seen by the time this video goes up. My collection is out of control, bordering on hoarding, really. And uh, I'm even thinking about throwing away like my PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3... Xbox 360 and Wii boxes because, I don't know, they're new, but they take up a lot of space. Maybe I'll just put stuff in them while I'm keeping them, but there's not much room. So here's the other one. I got two. This one's a blue one. It looks like this. Yay. So I now own four boxed Nintendo 64 controllers, and I think at least one, if not two, are new. And maybe they're all different colors. I bought this. this I paid $30 for this, but I kind of, I mean, I'm not trying to get them all, but I kind of collect... Basically, Game Boys of all shapes and, and versions, because I love the Game Boy. And this is one of my favorites, and I... I said love already. I'm quite fond of this color. I think it's purdy. Wicked purdy, in fact. Uh, and it's got a little bit of scuffage on the top, unfortunately, but look at this color. It's... Oh, it's lovely. really like it. I don't know what you call it. Sea foam green or something like that. Hey, look! Now you can't see it. It's hiding. It's a camouflage. Oh, whatever. And to you, Mr. Norwegian Noob, whether you're watching this or not, <laughs> or to him, he said the label looks pretty good, too. See? Uh, he was saying, your curtains suck. I agree. I think, sorry, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Uh, they're just whatever, but my wife will be moving in soon. Yeah, I know, we're not moving in together because it's a whole thing, so whatever. And uh, I'm sure they'll be one of the first things to go, so who knows? I just said, look, I just you can make it as cute as you want. Just I don't want flowers all over everything and just not too much pink. I don't have a problem with pink. I just don't want to live in a freaking pink house. And she's like, that's cool. I feel the same way. So I'm sure it'll be a vast improvement. Oh, so much waffling. Obviously, it's boxed. It's got all the stuff, charger, manual. And let's see if it turns on because a lot of times, look at that. It turns on. So... No lines in the screen or anything. I didn't even think to test that in the store. But these things are little workhorses. So now I think I've got like five colors maybe. And none of them are, I think only one is in really good shape on the top. But I like having the pretty different, the different pretty colors. Right, moving on. Eh, 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 moving on, I said, moving on. Not moving on. Should I do a jump cut here? No. There were other things I was going to say. Oh. Uh, why am I wearing glasses? Because I have allergies, and man, oh, itchy eyes all day long, and it just helps a little bit to keep the, and because I like variety. This is my dad's shirt, or was my dad's shirt. I inherited all his clothes, obviously, and I can wear them all, uh, except his shoes. So that's cool. Except, like, his best article of clothing, besides his jacket, which I can wear. He had some really sweet, uh, bike boots, but, uh, you know, otherwise, yeah, no shoes. What do I, why do I say I don't want to do a long video and then just walk along? Three, wow, I bought four handhelds today. I bought five consoles, holy moly. Wife, I, I keep wanting to call her girlfriend, which she is, but she was like, 
did you buy something? You know, because she's not like a huge fan of me going hard off and buying tons of stuff, but at the same time, she knew what she was getting into. Um, and I said, oh, just a little bit, which is kind of true. I mean, by my standards. And plus, I had a really small bag I was carrying around today. And she's like poking it. She's like, katai, which means everything in there is really hard. It's hard. It's hard. That's what she said, literally. So, tch. next up. This was just in a, like a crate, unmarked. I think it was kind of waiting to be priced or whatever, but it was ready to be sold. So it's kind of like, I don't know, it smells like it's been in storage. But this is a original Nintendo DS. And I like the original Nintendo DS. The screen isn't as bright and it's kind of ugly. But when you play Game Boy Advance games, they fit in snugly. And I really like that. So for Game Boy Advance games, this is sort of my console of choice. And then for Game Boy games, I like the SP. And for... <laughs> For DS games, I like the 3DS. What do I do with it? Yeah, right. So, but the screens are both in good shape, and I didn't even think to try turning this on either. Uh, power button. Wow, that is rare. I pushed the button and nothing happened. Seriously, that's unusual. But I'm not fussed about it at all. I just, I have every confidence this will work because, yeah. So, yay. I think I already have a gray one. I would like to have a couple different colors, but... Did I tell you I paid three dollars for that? I paid three dollars for that. All right, so this is what I was getting to. Um, this item was in where was it? it? Was in that bag. It was in this little bag, and it didn't have this price tag on it. But anyway, later it got it with these games, Game Boy, uh, whatever. This Pocket Monsters. And Puyo Puyo 2. Oh, that's awesome! This is exactly the game that I showed in my stuff I got from, what was it? Give Me Your Daughter and Your Video Games 2. This is the one I got the empty box for. Exactly this one. So, I can pop this in there. Nice. And maybe I'll do that. Another Pocket Monsters game. I almost prefer to say Pocket Monsters because if I say it the other way, I have to say Pokemon. But that's not what everybody says outside of Japan. And, ah! Tamagotchi. Right? I reckon y'all say Tamagotchi. Anywho, those games and a battery which was puffing up, you know, like what they do when they're dying, like they're dangerous, you know, like they're going to explode. And I said, yo, 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 yo. First of all, I wouldn't sell this battery if I were you. Second of all, I reckon that that means that it can't, uh, you know, it's the, the this console doesn't have a battery. The console to which I'm referring is, oh, wow, I think I might have got something good. It even It's numbered. I'm going to have to look into this. I haven't done any research. This is a PSP second model. It's got a screen protector, so that means the screen underneath is probably perfect. Whoever bought it was, you know, into this stuff. The control pad is really clean, like it hasn't been used too much. These control pads, I don't want to show too much yet. These control pads, I guess I can show the front, can't I? They get pretty dirty, but this one's pretty clean. Anywho, this is the Final Fantasy VII 10th Anniversary uh, special edition PSP, but it's, I mean, in really good shape. I have the Kratos one, and it's not in such good shape. But it's got the art on it there, and if you saw reflections of junk on the floor, that's because I'm moving stuff around, so just get over it. My sofa's coming tomorrow. That's something else I was going to say. This is number 12,510. I don't know how many they made, but that's kind of neat. Oh, and it's got black around the outside. I think that might be a little different, the design, but this is a good-looking console and I yeah that won't turn on because PSP batteries don't last at all um I've just sort of been getting into the PSP again recently so it's in awesome shape I paid twenty dollars for this and those four games nice okay what else oh, so because I bought that and I wanted to take it home you know protect it I had I, they had this you know, so I bought that for, I actually paid $3 for that, which is a bit shocking. And then I, I bought this to put a tablet in to carry it around because this make this, not the, this maker of uh, cases or whatever these cases. Oh my head, this video got long again. They're really good because this stuff is, yeah, it's like temputer almost. If you even, I don't know, what do you say? Tempur, I, I don't know. Anyway, I bought that for another $3, and I put the the consoles in there like that. So they were well protected on the way home. But I'm not finished. I saved the best for last. And this eh, was potentially a cause of marital uh, 
Mm. Conflict. Not conflict, but... Yeah, I I saw this at the hard off, and the guy who brought in all the stuff to sell it had left, and the hard off dude didn't know if he was going to come back that night or not, and until they had, you know, finished the transaction, he couldn't do anything. But I said, I really want that, because I don't have that color. And, I mean, they a lot of them know me. And so he's like, look, man, if it was mine, I'd just give it to you, but I just can't do it. I ought to wait until the guy comes and sells them. And I said, well, when will that be? And he said, tonight or tomorrow, I don't know. I said, hmm well, can you just hold it for me? And he said, I'm sorry, I can't do that. And then I said, well, how about if I call later just to check on the status? And he's like, yeah, that's fine. Just ask for me. So I called. They closed at 8, and I called at 7.40. And it turns out the guy had come back. And it was, you know, it had been bought from him. I'm sure they gave him, like, literally 50 yen for this. And, uh... I should give you a chance to guess. This is a limited edition portable console. It's worth about... I don't, if you don't like it when I say price, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I'm sorry, I can't please everyone, all right? I think it's interesting at this point. At least 35 times what I paid for it. More like 50 or 70 or 80, I don't know. It depends. I haven't really looked at the condition. I just had to get in and get out because it's really close to the mall, so my wife waited for me in the mall for like literally only 15 minutes, so she shut and went to the bookstore and stuff. And it was fine. No big deal. Uh, and it needs to be cleaned up a bit, but the thing is, the only scratches I really see are on the screen. The main, I mean, big ones. Oh, there's a little bit with the label, unfortunately. But uh, anyway, for three dollars, I now have a matching Die Hawks Game Boy Color to go with my N64. So those will be displayed t together at some point when I've got stuff ready. But I can clean this up. I think the screen's not too bad. It's not perfect, but again, three dollars. What are you gonna do? And, oh, that doesn't, well, of course it doesn't turn on. There's no batteries in it. But it's it's the same design, kind of the dark, clear black, and then the clear orange. I was really happy to find that. So for a grand total of less than $40, I have the N64 <laughs> and the Game Boy Color. And that's, you know, it's only taken me five years of, uh, you know, searching for games and learning about stuff to do that. And obviously living in Japan. So that's the last thing and I'm really waffling. I'm pretty sure nothing else, right? Cool. Thank you for watching and bye bye